Welcome back, Stingers, and welcome to your transformation series where I'm going to give you seven videos in seven days using examples from my new books, Rise from the Ashes, A Scorpio's Guide to Self-Esteem and Rebirth, and Dating Scorpio, with hopes to inspire you to become the most fabulous version of yourself you were meant to be. Are you ready? When you build your self-worth, you won't be triggered by others as they have less value to you. There will also be many things you'll no longer entertain from others. They'll no longer be good enough for your standards and will need to either rise to your level or go away. Most people can feel your power as Scorpios are the most intense and passionate. Even with all your inner mess, they're most afraid of you discovering and falling in love with yourself because they know at that point you're completely unstoppable. When you build yourself up and you gain self-knowledge, no one can knock you down. You've made your house of brick, not straw or wood, and no one can come in, right? and destroy any parts of you. And this will trigger others. When you are inner strong, it will trigger weak people on the outside. This is not something that you need to be afraid of. Yes, you will have to cut people out of your life. People will come at you. They will call you selfish. They will start using all sorts of passages from the Bible, honey. They will say you're on your high horse. You're too high up there. They will claim you're going to fall. Everything up must come down, right? So many triggering phrases they will use because the threat is deep. No one can ever take self-knowledge away from you. And no one can ever take away your self-value. Once you gain it, right? Once you know, once you gain, you know, the knowledge of who you are, you're going to be a threat. So this is something that I learned over a period of time as I've risen from the ashes. Uh, there are people who are close to me who always say I'm on my high horse, always say I need to cut myself down. Um, humble is another word people use a lot. Um, then they want to pull out all their religious books and start talking about um, how I'll be struck down. <laughs> It doesn't affect me. I just keep rising to the top. And even when I fall, I don't fall as hard as they do. <laughs> I don't fall as deep as they do. I don't fall to the bottom of the pit, right? And so this is something that you guys can just expect as you raise your self-esteem, as you get to know yourself better, as you become a strong inner, right? As your inner self becomes powerful, people are going to smell that. They're what is that? What is she doing? Why do you look different? What's going on? Oh, all of a sudden you don't answer from all of a sudden. Oh, you become the selfish. You're kind of different. Oh, we're getting different. Don't forget where you came from. <laughs> That's my personal favorite. Don't forget where you came from. How can I forget where I came from? I come from a little town in the suburbs. <laughs> yeah. And so um, as you guys get stronger, you are going to have those few enemies. But the most amazing part is that as you build yourself up, you're going to meet people who are right up there with you. And the other ones, just let them fall to the side. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at ScorpioSunScorpioMoon.com where you can purchase both paperback and audio versions of my book, Rise from the Ashes, A Scorpio's Guide to Self-Esteem and Rebirth, and dating Scorpio. You can also book a chart reading, a personal live stream session, and one of my nine amazing crash courses along with shopping in my beautiful store where you can get custom jewelry and accessories. Also, I have a big announcement to make. <laughs> my books are now sold in one of my favorite bookstores here in New York City called Namaste. They are at 2 West 14th Street. And this place is so important to me because it is the first shop ever where I got a birth chart reading and information all about my mirror person who is the catalyst for everything that I'm doing now. In this very bookshop, I met a woman who 
sat down and explained to me the karmic match that we had and why I was feeling the way that I did. And it actually propelled me to get in that mirror and write my book and start this YouTube channel and pretty much do everything that I'm doing in my business right now. So I've come full circle now and my books are available there. So if you're in New York, definitely come down to the shop. It is absolutely amazing. You can get tarot readings. I've had psychic readings there. I've bought all my crystals there. They have tarot cards. They have every single thing you would need for divination, amazing astrology books. So definitely stop by and buy my book. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.